After weeks of heated debates and skepticism from the National Democratic Congress, the party finally joined hands with the New Patriotic Party and other contenders to reaffirm their commitment to peace, signing the much-anticipated peace pact ahead of the December 7 elections. The ceremony was nothing short of symbolic, as NDC flag bearer John Dramani Mahama and MPP's Dr. Baumia put pen to paper. Speaking of the event, spearheaded by the National Peace Council and IDEC, flag bearer of the National Democratic Congress reiterated his party's commitment to a peaceful election, but emphasized the need for trust in the process. We in the NDC remain eternally committed to the building of a peaceful and prosperous country. However, it is all well and good for us to commit to peace and recite beautiful platitudes. All the efforts at building peace before, during and after the 2024 elections would come to naught or be undermined if there is mistrust and insincerity on the part of those in authority. He called on stakeholders to match their words with actions, calling for impartiality from institutions to ensure a peaceful environment for voters. There is reason to be concerned that the signing of this pact, though well-intentioned, could amount to nothing if it is not followed by concrete actions to guarantee the peace by the stakeholders and government. Events and happenings during the last election and during the Awaso West Wagon by election create considerable doubts about the genuineness of some of the commitments that we might make today. For his part, flag bearer of the NPP, Dr. Baumia, exuded confidence in Ghana's democratic process and peace. We have shown that it is possible to rise above our differences and unite. I am certain of two outcomes. Ghana will win and peace will reign. My plea to everybody involved in the electioneering process is to take responsibility for ensuring peace and harmony seriously and to demonstrate that we are not reluctant Democrats. After the signing, Dr. Mohammed Ibn Chambers warned against complacency. The weight of the burden has shifted to the Electoral Commission, to the Ghana Police Service and supporting security agencies, party and other political activists, the media and the judiciary. There can be no complacency. Ghana's past successes are no guarantee or assurance of current or future performance. Nothing should be taken for granted. 